Hi everyone, this is Bick Benedict. We're playing uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. And this is the DLC entitled Revelations. So this video is a compilation of several chapters. It, um, it's called Bound by Blood or something like that and another title. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, this is the main area where the Belfry is. Or no, not the Belfry. Bernard's Hall. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so this fight over here is versus the uh, the ja I think they're called Javelin Warriors here. They're pretty flexible enemies. They're, they've got that wide swipe to watch out for, but uh, what I'm doing here in particular is uh, trying to identify, well, before I even went into the room and, and you know, before I even started the video, I just identified uh, what moves I need to implement into my mastery system. Normally I'll select about three and just focus on three at a time. So what's going to end up happening is that um, we'll have this complete video, which is just about as long as the previous video was, running at about 18 minutes. And then the next video will be the final battle. And I think it's just going to be a self-contained video with the boss fight. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to incorporate any side exploration in the next video before the boss fight, because you do have a choice whether you want to... Uh, go with Marie, uh, you know, Trevor's mom, uh, the long dead Trevor who became Alucard. Or if you want to uh, activate the portals that will take you to different places if you want to, um, you know, say for instance, get a, get a few things maybe that you missed or take the opportunity to get your mastery up to level 3. I think that I'm I'm going to do that because I, I honestly I could have started this guide with without my upgrades like um, after my very first attempt it would it would have been my second uh, run on the game I had hardly I have I had about half of the total health and not much of the magic and it looks like we need the key here but. I, I'm just one of those people that I I like to get all of the health and up like the health upgrades and the life and magic upgrades. Not because I feel insecure if I don't. It's just that I feel that I'm respecting the guide a little bit more, respecting the game, but more importantly the guide because it's something that I really feel proud of. Um, if I you know can represent what in totality you know the health bar is and the magic bar and yes it does aid me as far as um, struggling with the bosses I mean there is less struggle if you have more life but on a, on these higher difficulties that I play on it, it usually is pretty negligible and I am gonna try to try to clear the boss without using any healing items because I still feel regret for not being able to kill Satan in, in video number 37 of my guide uh, with, with using several healing items and that dragon. I still feel bad. So, you know, this channel is is largely, largely about how I present myself and I, I always I always want to be um, what's the word? I just I always want to, want to represent the guide as best as I can and, and make the, make sure that the quality is always there. Um, this sequence here is right out of the beginning of the of the game for Lords of Shadow, the main campaign, Lords of Shadow 2. You'll notice the conceit, but I actually, when I was playing this game for the first time, the DLC, I was really struggling on the puzzles. and. I just I was at my wits end and I said I said one more time I'll try to figure it out and if I can't then I'm gonna look online and find out so I looked online on, on YouTube and I'm 
I'm, I'm usually one of those people that's I don't know why but I usually look at the first results and that's bad because you know if if other people are only looking at the first result and they're not not ever looking at mine because mine assuredly is not the first result that is on YouTube unless you type something in very specific um, so I looked on some guy's video he had like 18,000 views and his was no commentary but he did a very professional job of um, oh no no now I'm thinking about two people one guy one guy did a very very good job of I think it's 360 gaming they did a very good job of finding all the items the other guy his walkthrough I was looking at was very it, it looked okay it had no commentary I think it's Ra Rajam Gaming or something and you know this guy was uh, one of these desperate people to get the guide up as fast as he fucking could and you know he doesn't like to do commentary obviously he doesn't put it on or he feels that people maybe don't want the commentary but his guide was I actually I, I left a message on there because I was really frustrated because what he was doing was he was he was actually doing everything correctly I mean going in the right ways doing the puzzles in the right ways but he was always when he whenever he would get to a puzzle it was always I could recognize it as someone who was coming to it for the first time and you know kind of experimenting with things and it's just wasting my time so I went on there and I left a comment on his page and I'm gonna reference it right now I'm gonna pull it up on Google Plus and it was a mean-spirited comment I left but I was frustrated because this guy was wasting my time okay so I don't know what I don't know who it was but I could probably find the URL real quick. Let me find it. I could tell you who this guy is. It's almost coming up. Okay, R Rajman Gaming HD. That's the guy. And I left him a comment and I said, What happens when you rush out a guide to get the most views is you don't know what you're doing in the game. Try learning the game first instead of wasting all of our time. That is, if you have any integrity. So that was definitely a, a cutting thing that I left that guy. But he was wasting my time, and I, and that's the thing. I don't waste people's time. That's 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 just that's the distinction here. So, what you have to do after this, this is not a cutscene. You have to make sure that you fix the device right here, and then interact with it, and then uh, do the uh, the bat teleport over to this location, and then use the wolf to. Uh, jump on these wardrobes here. Just remember, you have to do, the, do this very quickly because Alucard is standing um, on the wardrobe that you ju just jumped from um, behind the wolf. And I'm sorry I sidetracked there just to mention that guy, but I'm, I was trying to eluc elucidate, you know, his channel versus mine, where I don't rush to make guides. This 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 has been out for what, a few weeks, and I haven't even touched it. Now I'm making it, and I'm trying to tell you guys exactly what to do. Um, but this part I did speed up because uh, we faced these enemies before in the room that I uh, mentioned, and I told you how to defeat them. And what I was doing here was uh, identifying which moves that I needed so that I can get my mastery up to level. Uh, two see it's only at level one right now so I wanted to find which ones I had almost topped off and just uh, take care of these guys right here
And I believe I mentioned this before, but you don't have to get the mastery up for every skill. As long as, I don't know how many it is exactly, it, it's progressive as you go through the through the skill levels like mastery level to get mastery level three you have to do a lot more um, uh, excuse me you have to fill a lot more mastery containers and the, the the bad thing is if you do get a lot of mastery skills and everything and you die when you respawn it doesn't save anything so it's really important that you don't die when you're trying to do this and ordinarily I would just put the difficulty to a lower difficulty maybe like the lowest when I'm spamming for this sort of thing but I want to get the trophy and if I switch then I will sacrifice my trophy so just remember uh, you can poke at these guys when they are in that blood pool and you can also do the guillotine, uh, the pseudo guillotine with the sword. The latter is risky because you're you're in the air, and it takes a long time for that move to actually complete and uh, rip the guy out of the ground. So I, I would actually just poke, just do standard pokes with the square button. And it... Uh, the final boss is not too. It, it, he's pretty tough. I mean, he's got a. He's got one move that I think is pretty cheap, but I I I I personally enjoyed the fight. There is no checkpoint, and there is one. There is one scenario at the end where he recovers some HP, and it's one of those things where I almost looked online to see what the hell was going on and how to defeat him because. It was just a. I refused to lower the difficulty from um, Lord of Shadow, which is, I guess, it would be hard mode. And I figured it out, but it was one of those things where just to get to that point, it takes a long time because he has a lot of HP you have to cut through. And secondly, here, right here, you have to uh, reassemble the wardrobe, and it's on a timer, but you have more than enough time. Um, switch to the bat fly up here and then raise the the blood water the blood just the blood sorry about that um, the reason you have to assemble that wardrobe is because you need to use it as a platform as you cross the the lake of blood via the wolf but like I said I almost did look to see how people were beating him at the very end like you know what was the little trick you had to do and I figured it out but I, I I personally feel that there should be a checkpoint after you kill him and then he regenerates his life I, I think it's fair that you don't get a checkpoint until then but whenever you're putting something really different that the player is not you know probably not gonna understand what to do and if he dies he's gonna lose a lot of progress that kind of thing is questionable you know more than questionable to me it's just not right but anyway you'll probably need the, the wolf to yeah definitely you'll, you'll need the wolf to cross that and there's a couple hidden there's a lot of hidden items over in this venue and just fall down here and we're almost at the end of this video I think we have one more fight uh, one more puzzle then one more fight now the thing about this I believe, was I doing this just last night? Yeah, I was doing this just last night. I'll be able to finish this guide with uh, very quickly. But anyway, you want to head over here with the wolf and then assemble this shield. And then you're on a very, very strict timer. So very quickly grab it up. Uh, the thing is, you want to immediately walk off here and then carry, this is as fast as you can walk. It's not it's not like you're walking very slowly, but you cannot make any mistakes here. And you know, this is as fast as you can possibly go. So just walk up here and place place the shield on the pressure switch. Now, I was getting confused about what 
the uh, there is a dragon that spouts fire over there, and I was getting confused as to what his role was. I thought you had to deflect the fire via the shield, but the only thing that the pressure switch does is opens this door. And you saw right there, I, if you rewind that, I had like zero seconds left. So it, it's you'll probably need to, to do a couple of takes on that. But fortunately, I did this fight without perishing, and... Uh, that was all well and good, and I just focused on a couple of moves that I needed to incorporate into my mastery level. These are probably my least favorite enemies to fight in this DLC. Now, you'll, you will notice that from time to time, their leader will do the magic attack. You need to hit him, because the other guy, I don't believe you can hit... Um, I'm going to scratch that. You can hit whoever you really want to, but the the sorcerer who is empowering and, and giving uh, status effects to um, his, uh, his teammates, that's the guy you need to, to focus on uh, taking out. Pretty much the guy who's, who's talking, that's the one you need to go get. And I know it might be hard to identify who's talking, but it's just the guy who has the uh, magic uh, barrier going, uh, swirling around him. That's who it is. See, like right there? It's the one right to the left. And I do have to admit, one of the hard things about this game is that it's hard to, with all of the, the splashing of the effects, it, it, it really can be hard especially when you're using the ice and the fire magic it's just hard to see through all of these special effects I mean I mean look at this it's just it's kind of where the end of skill begins you know it's it's just like Yes, you can be very skillful, but it's hard to be skillful when you can barely see anything. So I think this is the last encounter, and I'm going to see you guys in the final fight.